Hello everyone, welcome back into the channel. My name is Rob. March 1st is here, the first of the month, so that means it's time for another look at the DAP stats comparing EOS, Tron, and ETH using DAP Radar. I have DAP Radar pulled up here as well as last month's article with the stats of number of DAPs, DAPs with over 10,000 24 hour transactions, and DAPs with over 1,000 24 hour users listed here. Uh, it is just the last three months listed in these that was ever since TRX got added in here. So this will be the fourth month in a row comparing all three EOS, ETH, and Tron. So let's jump right in and take a look at either the growth or the regression in these dApps. Starting off with EOS, we'll look at each of these individually first and then compare them all together to see which platform is winning this month. So starting off with EOS, the first category, total number of dApps on DAP Radar. If we click back to the last, last page, we're looking at 336 dApps listed on DAP Radar for EOS, which is up about just under 30 from last month. Last month we had 308, this month we are coming in at 336. So next up on the list, DAPs over 10,000 24 hour transactions for EOS. Go back to the first page. Transactions over the last 24 hours 200,000, 200,000. We got a long way to go here till we reach that 10,000 number. Keep going. Here we are. So, a total of 33 EOS DAPs with over 10,000 transactions over the last 24 hours. That is down two. Down two from last month, so not much change there, but it is down some. And finally, DAPs over 1,000 24-hour users for EOS. Come over and sort this by users. This one we're going to have to count. And last month came in at 20 DAPs over 1,000 24-hour users. This month, EOS is coming in at... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. EOS ABC is 13. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So 21 EOS DAPs over 1,024 hour users. That is up one from last month. And we do have the 22nd DAP here. Uh, just five users away, um, but we won't count that. It's not over a thousand, though it is very, very close to a thousand. So next up on the list here, we'll take a look at Tron. And starting off for Tron, total number of DAPs coming in at 167 this month. Last month, Tron was ringing in at 131, so about a 36, 36 DAP increase there, right about on par with what we're seeing on EOS. Uh, a little bit more than EOS, but 167 DAPs for DAP Radar this month. Next up, 24-hour transactions. Over 10,000, we see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 DAPs over 10,000 24-hour transactions. And that's actually a drop-off for Tron. Last month, Tron had 11. This month, only 9. And finally, users. Over the last 24 hours, last month, Tron had 16. Then this, this month, Tron's coming in with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 daps. So a big drop there for Tron. It does have a couple that aren't that... About 30 to 40 users away from hitting that 1K mark, but... If we're not going to count the EOS one, that's five away. We're not going to count those. So, again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten DAPs for Tron with over 1,000 24 hour users compared to last month's 16. That is um, quite a drop. We saw EOS in this category increase this month, and Tron's going from 16 to 10. And finally, looking at ETH before we take a look at them all together to see how the chains stack up against each other total number of ethereum dApps this month 1405 compared to last month's 1362 that's a nice uh, jump there for ethereum dApps 
Now these next categories shouldn't be too hard because last month we had a big old zero and zero. So let's see what they're coming in at this month. This month we do have a one. One Ethereum DAP over 10,000 24 hour users. We have not seen that since back in December. On December 1st, Ethereum also had one DAP over 10,000 24 hour transactions. And users over a thousand, do they have any? They have one. So again, a jump up from last month where Ethereum had zero dApps over 1,024 hour users. This month, they do have a single dApp hitting that number. So in terms of dApp transactions and dApp users, not much change in terms of EOS, Ethereum, or Tron. Though we did see a big drop off in Tron in terms of number of dApps with users over 1,000. That is the uh, biggest outlier I see through this data. So now if we look at them all together and just starting off with users over 24 hours to get an idea of what chain's leading the way and um, it's not hard to see that, is it? In first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, Eight of the top 10 spots in spots one through eight are going to EOS in terms of users on the dApps. Tron does come heavy after that with spot 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14, but then we get back to EOS again. Just looking at the top 10 here, spots one through eight go to EOS, nine and 10 go to Tron in terms of users over the last 24 hours. And let's check out the 24 hour transaction numbers. So in the number one spot is Tron, but then it's just EOS domination again. Tron in the first spot, EOS in the second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth. Tron in the ninth, EOS in the 10th. So again, just like we saw with users over 24 hours, EOS controls 80% of the top 10 dApps, 8 out of the top 10 dApps going to EOS, uh, but Tron does have the upper hand in terms of the number one spot with TronBet doing work, coming in with 360,000 transactions over the last 24 hours. And finally, my favorite category here, where's the money flowing? Looking at volume, US dollar volume over the last 24 hours, where do we see the money flowing? That number one spot, again, held by Tron here with their big numbers of transactions coming in with $8.2 million worth of Tron going through Tron Bet over the last 24 hours. And then EOS in the second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth spot. And then we have ETH. We have ETH in the top 10. Wow. Uh, been a while since we've seen that, but FCK coming in with $1 million in volume. And that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That is the ninth spot. And then in the tenth spot, another EOS to finish out the top ten there. And let's just look a little bit further here. We have one more Tron. Um, but looking through the top 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, the top 18 here, very interesting. EOS owns everything. Except for Tron has the number one spot and another one. And ETH has two spots as well. So in terms of volume, at least number of dApps, EOS has the big majority with Ethereum having two and Tron having two through the top 18. In terms of actual money flowing, actual number of tokens, USD value flowing. Um, with that said, though, TronBet does have the clear lead. It is more than double the amount of money that is in the number two spot EOS Jax and EOS Gambling Dapp. So very interesting to see. Not much change in terms of the numbers we see over here individually, but a clear domination by EOS looking at the top 10, top 13 Dapps in these different categories. Very interesting that this month on March 1st, it works out that users, volume, and transactions over the last 24 hours, EOS owns an 80% share of 
all three of those categories. So as usual, I'll be doing a write-up just like last month's write-up and posting it on Tribe. I will leave the link in the description to this video once that article is up. It does take me a day or two after publishing this video to get that article up, so um, definitely check out Tribe if you're not on there already. Start earning tokens, and uh, don't forget to give me a follow. So that is going to do it for this month's EOS vs. Ethereum vs. Tron DAP comparison. Ethereum continuing to struggle, EOS really blossoming here, and uh, Tron's definitely holding its own, but EOS owns an 80% share of that top 10 in all three of those major categories. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like and subscribe for the next edition in the series at the first of the month next month. But that's going to do it for me for this one. I will see you guys in the next one. And as always, stay living that crypto money life.